Middleton O'Reilly the line with Park and Bork. Park taps it in. McTavish in on Langran. Checks in. Around the boards. Park moves in. Keeps it in. In the Middleton. Middleton in the corner. Back for Bork. Shot. Save. Billy Smith. The rebound. All the way to Troche. Islanders with a shorthanded goal. Look at Goring and Troche on there now. Pass rolls in and Cheevers gets it off to O'Reilly. O'Reilly back to McTavish, right wing over the line. Back for O'Reilly. Back for Bork. Closing shot miss. Rebound missed by O'Reilly and hit the side of the net. And only Billy Smith keeping the Islanders at a 3-3 score. O'Reilly has soft drop pass to Bork with a vicious low slap shot. Wide of the net. Bangs off the low part of the board, puck right back into the crease. O'Reilly gets his foot on it, put it a little bit wide, and Smith is able to smother it for the face-off. 1.16 left on the Dennis Potvin penalty. They have Langrad and Morrow on defense. They lost two defensemen in it. Boris side kicked out. Trotje and Goring, the penalty killers. Nav, Foster, and Nav back to Bork. Puts it in the corner. Langvan trying to clear it. Kent, Bork kept it in. Bounces for McNabb. Off for Foster. Back to Bork. Over to Park. Shot blocked by Morrow. Big play. Goring able to flip it out. Ken Morrow has been a standout for the Ottomans. Is Middleton over the line. Power play Boston. Back to Park, left point. Bork, shot is high. Middleton with it. 35 seconds left. Goes behind the net. He's exhausted. He takes the hit from Morrow. McNabb with it. McNabb cutting in front. Broken up on the play. And Morrow clears it out. 20 seconds left. White Foster winding up. Now to Bork. What part? back off from McNabb dead in behind the net near the net poked away Henning trying to drive it out Bork kept it in his pass up block and Bourne takes it and clears and out is Dennis Potvin six minutes into the third period 3-3 three, three the score Miller breaks but the pass missed and back up nice play the score, Boston free, the Islanders free. Let's pause for this message. Our own to Toyota Today sales event is going on now, and this week we're making deals like there's no tomorrow. Making deals on all our Celicas. Give me a white Celica lift back. Deals on all our trucks. Red four-wheel drive. Deals on all our Corollas, including Toyota's lowest price car, the Corolla Tercel. Silver Tercel. You got it. Deals on any Toyota you want. Blue lift back. Blue lift back. Oh, what a feeling to own a Toyota today! A green pickup. Red Corolla. Give me a white a red one. Here. No, a white red one. Ray Bork sitting in the penalty box. The tripping nice room at 6.06. Giving the Islanders an opportunity to score on a power play. Bork, no argument on this call. Nystrom had make it, made a move to get around him. He had to do something. 
He had to stop nice from where he was in alone, got a stick into his shin pad. And the Islanders are on the power play. And they have Trottier, nice drum on the left. Gillies on the right with Dennis Potvin and Goring. Miller knocks at center ice. Miller and Marcotte, Rick Smith and Redmond back on defense. A lead for Nystrom trying to bear in, and his shot goes wide. And he was in good position. Goring keeps it in. Round to Gillies. Gillies, Nystrom, missed the net again. Break for Boston, two misses by Nystrom. Trottier keeps it in with Goring, left point. Checked by Miller. Goring has it. Goring over to Gillies. Shot, saved Cheevers, holding the short side. Rick Smith can't clear it. Gillies, Nystrom. Good power play, Islanders. Dennis Potvin, screenshot, blocked, covered by Cheevers as it deflected off Gillies. 124 left, all the action in the Boston end, and Philadelphia leads New York in the third period, 2-0. Jerry Cheevers now active after several minutes of inactivity in his own end, watching the action down the other end. Now he suddenly is pressed into the action himself, and he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it when the action is all down the other end, and he's a little bit cold, he suddenly has to start moving. He's going to get warmed up in a hurry now. Islanders, some very effective players on the power play. Trottier, Gillies in the corner, Nystrom in the corner. At the point, Dennis Potvin, and they had uh, Goring, and now Pearson is out there. Potvin, a little fresh. The only rest he's had in the last period and a half has been the two minutes he spent in the penalty box. Hasn't had a chance to do much wrestling. They're down to four defensemen. You know, we talk about Ken Morrow, Fred. Imagine the kind of shape he's in, playing on the United States Olympic team. He's left with four defensive, playing in a giant rink in Lake Placid. I don't think he gets tired. All right, Trottier is centering Nystrom on the left, Tonelli on the right. They switch their wings on the power play. And Pop Van and Pearson, McTavish on the faceoff. The draw to the Islanders. McTavish stays out there. Puck trickles in, Nystrom. Lost it to O'Reilly and he clears. And the McTavish and O'Reilly are staying as the penalty killers. McTavish down, battling Billy Smith. On the other side, still forechecking. O'Reilly in, but now Pearson starts it out. Away to Tonelli. In now for Trotche, in deep. Centered it. Shot misfired by Tonelli. He was in good position. Trotche, very tricky. Gets it off to Tonelli. Quick shot, save. Rebound. Goes wide. Great stop there on Tonelli by Cheevers. Puck back to the point. Dennis Potvin. Left point, Pearson. Shot. Tip wide. Rebound. Missed by Trotche. O'Reilly able to clear it out. 35 seconds left. Islanders a tremendous power play in a 3-3 game. Pearson back to Nystrom. The pressure continues. In the goes to Tonelli. Flip. Trotche missed it. And O'Reilly has it. Out to center ice. 20 seconds left. O'Reilly on the loose puck. Gives it off to Redmond, looking at the clock. Playing it down. Bruins changing. Eight seconds left. Eight minutes play, third period, 3-3. Dennis Potvin rushes. Moves in, centers it. McCrimmon stops it and clears. Penalty up. Smith has to play it with Bork out of the penalty box. McNabb trying to keep it in. Goes to Goring. Which going now? Lying over the line, in deep, stop, cut, centers. Goes over in the corner, board, a shot, Cheevers the save, thought he lost it. But he blocked it wide, and Wensink checked on the boards by Morrow, tied up, and a face-off call. And the motto for goaltenders, never look behind. <laughs> and that one was not in the net, but it was behind, but wide. Well, I don't know if Cheevers ever saw that, the value of being in the right place at the right time. The old, experienced veteran, Jerry Cheevers, following that puck, getting himself positioned, moving out to cut down the corner. Puck happens to come out, slap shot. Hits Cheevers' pads, wasn't sure if he lost it or not. Flipped through just by the far post. That's in if he hadn't been in the right position. That was born shooting, and the Boston line team at full strength. Is McNabb, Wemstink, Middleton. A lead for Middleton. Can't move in. Goring, pass up, blocked by Park. Park, Middleton, back in for Park. Park, check, trying to drop it. Stopped by Bourne, broken up, kept in. Brad Park in the corner, behind the net to McNabb. In front, it rolls to Gillies. Broken up by Middleton. Gillies again, blocked. Kept in, McNabb, in front, missed. 
Clark in the corner with it. Wednesday trying to keep it in. Checked by Gillies. Clark battles. Goes to Middleton. Clark in deep. Still a battle. Goring trying to clear it around the other side. Rick Smith hooks it back in. Pressure all Boston. Middleton fills the man. Langman. McNabb in front. Rolls back. Wednesday drives it up. Goring ices it to relieve the pressure. Great pressure by the Bruins. From the Boston Garden, this is Boston Bruins hockey. This bud's for everyone who lives the life of the sea. This bud's for you, for all you do. Just for you, that distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. For all you do, this bud for you. All right, 10.21 left. Face off to the left of Smith. Miller trying to draw it to Foster. Merrick, the Islanders, wins it for Dennis Potvin. Avoids a Marcotte check, and out comes Lauren Henning. He has a goal. Pass up block, McCrimmon, Bork, Marcotte, lead, Foster, too far ahead, Foster chases it, into the corner, no icing, as he gets there, Dennis Potvin trying to roll it around, McCrimmon keeps it in, block, gets it, it's turn of ice, over to Bork, 3-3 three, three to score, third period, rolls for Marcotte, into the corner, and centered it, Miller trying to get it, a bouncing puck, Miller is checked by Pearson, Henry, Dennis Potvin, Merrick to Henning, and they work it out. To the Boston end on a flip. Cheever's well out. Sends Marcotte away by two Islanders. Great play, Marcotte. For Foster off wing side. Foster holding for Marcotte, trying to send him in. He shoots. Smith stays, not a hard shot. McCrimmon keeps it in. 3-3 three, three to score, third period. McCrimmon steals, who's in? Shot to save Billy Smith. Puck back, four, four. Undermanned and tired, Rick Smith hooking Morrow, breaks him up. Middleton back over the line, trying to cut in and knocked down by Morrow. Out comes Tonelli. 
hit by Park and spun around. Rick Smith back. Check. Redmond with it. McTavish starts it away. Looking for Middleton. And the play offside. And you're watching Bruins Hockey Live from Boston Garden. Some days I wish I didn't have to fly Eastern or any airline. Traffic's way up. Service hasn't kept pace. Our new Atlanta terminal will help. It'll be the largest in the world with underground trains and moving sidewalks. But it won't mean a thing without good old-fashioned service. In Tucson, we're the new airline in town, so we don't have a fancy new terminal. But we do have Pat Gaz and her people working hard to win the West. I fly Eastern, but you don't have to. So we have to earn our wings every day. Goal scores for the Islanders are Trotche in the first period, and the second, Tonelli and Henning. Nystrom here to tie it at four. The Boston goal getters, Rick Smith, Brad McCormick, Brad Park, and Bob Miller. Four to four, 7.47 left. Puck knocked away to the Boston end. Ray Bork. Up for O'Reilly, nice play. O'Reilly breaks right side on Dennis Potvin. He's broken up by Dennis Potvin. Gilly gets it to Goring. And out of Bourne, who can escape? Check. McCrimmon fell down. Puck rolls on the board. Gilly, Pearson, shot deflected wide. Goring, shot by Gilly, save Keevers as Goring set up Gilly. O'Reilly tangles with Gillies again. Sort of neutralized each other with their two fights. O'Reilly trying to work it in. Got it free. McCrimmon drives wide and high on the long shot. Dennis Cotban with the tire of O'Reilly after him. Gives him a bump. And Goring is back. To Gillies. Broken up by McCrimmon. McNabb to Wenstick up the left side. Avoids Morrow, but the puck goes to Dennis Cotban. Around the board. McCrimmon trying to keep it in. Block. Merrick comes out. Hit by McCrimmon. Back to get it for it. Hard to know how these teams can do it at this pace. 4-4 four, four to score. And Henry coming in is racked on a hard hit by Bork. Bork on the puck behind the net. Off to Marcotte, the uncovered man. Out with McNabb. Goes for the shot, and Billy Smith hangs on. Let's pause. Five seconds for station identification. This is the Boston Bruins Television Network. This is TV 38. WSBK TV, Boston. Well, the key figure is four. Four men aside, given game misconduct after a wild brawl at the end of the first period. The score tied four to four. 6.09 left. Miller, Foster, Markov, draw to Brad Park. Shot. Save Smith. Right on the mark. A little high. Miller. In the corner, out of it with it. Shot, block. Marcotte trying to center it. Get a handle to it. Check. Hold down on the play. Miller fights for it. Marcotte hits Morrow. Around the boards, it's going. And tipped out by Henning. 5.48 left. 4-4. Four to four. And the Bruins have dug down in this one. But it is tied. Third period. Rick Smith. The flip in. Foster took a stick. He was shaken up. Still rubbing his head. Playing the Islander zone. Marcotte battling. Foster's okay. Marcotte pins Morrow. They both go down heavily. Around the boards. Langvan with it. Pass up. Block. Park. Over to Marcotte. And the Bruins change up. Five minutes left. 4-4 four, four the score. Round it goes. Park keeps it in. It's batted out. He trips Tonelli, though. And Rick Smith back. Over the line with Foster. The pass intercepted. Tonelli out with Trotje. Stolen by Redmond. Redmond right back. Up the left side. Shot. Save Billy Smith. On the 40-footer by Redmond. Harrison clears. Right on the stick of McCrimmon. Center of ice. To Middleton. Over state. Nystrom back. He tied it at four. Tonelli. Back in front. Blocked by Cheevers as it rolls in. Redmond back. Check. Puck bounces. Redmond trying to work it free. Check has it again. He's playing forward. Bork to Redmond, left wing. Flipped in. 422 left. 4 to 4 to score. Harrison. Crotchet. 
And the pass stopped at the Boston line. Middleton back. Checked by Nystrom. Heavy going on the boards. Now Trotje strikes back. The board breaking in. Cheever saves. Clear by Mark. On the empty net. Back to McTavish. McTavish over the line. Cuts right in. Shot. Oh, he missed it. He went right through the defense. And his shot missed the net. What a rush by the rookie. Middleton, McTavish keep it in. Pass blocked now by Corey. Out to Bourne. Shot blocked. And the Islanders offside. We're in the third period with the score. The Bruins four, the Islanders four. Who's got the best new car warranty at no extra cost? All cars are covered by a limited warranty. But nobody's car is covered by a full 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12 warranty. Except the new American Motors Concord and American Motors Spirit. Concord, Spirit, all AMC passenger automobiles are covered by the fire protection plan with the best warranty because it covers every part of your car, even if it just wears out. Built to last from American Motors. Morrow has a gimpy knee. He's being treated on the Islanders bench. He took a hit from Mark Otta as hard as you want to see, and that came in the third period as the players have to dig down here with 326 left. Play on the Boston end. Merrick, Mark, McNabb gets it. Looking it out. Dennis Cockman. Langman. Penny. Played back on the Boston end. Rick Smith there. Taps it to Park. To McNabb. Slides it in and going in for O'Reilly. Closes near the net, behind the net. Rolling puck, trying to control it. Can't make his play. Dennis Potvin ties him up. He gets it out. To Park, shot. Save Billy Smith. Save. And Winston can't get the third rebound. Ron McNabb had one. Here's O'Reilly trying to jam it in. It's blocked by Smith. O'Reilly hauled down. Faced off in the Islander zone. Bruins hockey is coming to you live from Boston Garden. If you're like me, you want engine protection up front. That's why you need Texaco's Haviland Supreme Motor Oil. Trooper-tested protection up front, backed by unbeaten mileage. That's Texaco's Haviland Supreme. And now a special car maintenance offer. Free, a Louisville Slugger baseball bat signed by a Boston Red Sox player from your Texaco retailer. Get your free baseball bat with a Haviland motor oil change, oil filter, and lube job. At your participating Texaco retailer. Minnesota leads Montreal after two, two to one, and goals by McCarthy and Kane land there for Montreal. Philadelphia leads uh, Rangers two nothing after two. Holmgren and Barber scoring. Puck battle for Foster. Can't do it. Out comes Nystrom. Shot deflected wide of Cheevers. Two twenty five left. Oh, Nystrom upended Bork with the check of the knife. Oh, what a hit! Back comes Miller. Miller in deep. Lost it. And out comes Trotje. Check. Bork knocks it away. Tonelli right back. Over the line. Closing. Checked by McQuimmon. In deep. Nystrom with it. Behind the net. Centers it. It's knocked away by Bork to McQuimmon. Flipped out with 155 left. Tonelli coming back. Hit. And uh, tied up for a faceoff. And uh, Chicago and uh, Buffalo, 5-3 in the third period. And look look at this hit by Nystrom. How either of these players got up after this hit is beyond me. Nystrom, who's been throwing his weight around the entire period, hit for, picked him off his ice, off his feet. Flies into the boards. Fortunately, he's wearing a helmet. He hit back his head right into the board. Pierre and Sealing have two goals apiece. Loose one. Lysiak has two goals. Aquia has one for Chicago. McTavish, 143 left. Clearing in. What a rush he made. And shot wide. He split the defense. Round the boards to Gilly. Mark keeps it in. It's blocked. Redmond misfires. It's blocked by Pearson. Redmond playing forward. Pass to Gilly. Slipped in. Redmond back covering. Hey, what a game he's playing at left wing. Covering his man. Breaks it up. Can't move it out now, though. Gillies clears it in, stopped by Rick Smith. Right back, up to McTavish. Over the line, he lost it. Hey, they're going to be...
be getting tired. And a mistake can be costly. About a minute left. Gilly's back. To Goring. Cuts in deep. Shoots. Very tough angle. Hit by Rick Smith. McTavish digs it out. Less than a minute left. To Middleton. Middleton. Over the line with McTavish. Into McTavish. He's in. Oh, he's stopped by Billy Smith. Paying McTavish in with 27 seconds left. And Smith stopped him. Middleton sent him right in. Back from Strache. Over the line. Reputations are made. First, Billy Smith. Our trade McTavish going in alone. He has it where he wants him, but he doesn't have enough strength to get the backhand up over his pad. Incredible save by Bill Smith. The action right down the other end. Nystrom moving in. Chevers moving out to challenge. Here comes Nystrom. Chevers blitzes him as he calls it. Intimidates him, forces him to go wide and kick the puck with his glove. 35 seconds left. Nice from a shot. Blocked. We're headed for overtime again, unbelievably, in a 4 4 wild one. Ray Bork coming out. Checked by Trache. Nice from back. Into the corner. Centers it. Canelli couldn't wrap it from in close. O'Reilly cuts back. Lead pass, Marcotte. Marcotte trying to break in. Can't. And Nystrom trying to clear it out. Stop Bork. Six seconds left. The shot. Buck rolls in front. And old McNabb knocks down Langrad, but Hot Van gets it. And we are going to overtime. Incredible. What a wild night here at Boston Garden. And we are not over yet. As the teams file out. And for the second night in a row, we're going to have overtime. New York had nine shots. And Boston had 16. That's the way the Bruins spiritedly took a lead, only have it, to have it lost immediately as Nystrom scored. And that's the way it stands. And so, after regulation time, the score, the Boston Bruins four, the New York Islanders four, and we'll return with overtime after these messages. I don't know. Is, could last year's Montreal semifinal series really have been as exciting as the game we have seen tonight? We are going into overtime for the second consecutive night. The Bruins and the Islanders tied at 4-4. Here's how it's happened so far. The scoring and what have you. First period, one goal scored by Brian Trache, and that came at 16.08, his fourth of the playoffs from Bourne and Morrow. Now, up until the end of the period, there had, and uh, you see the even shots on goal, eight apiece, there had been 48 minutes in penalties called. There had been a number of fights already, but at the 20-minute mark, after the buzzer had sounded, the two teams were just heading for the dressing rooms, everything broke loose. There were 200 minutes in penalties that were called there for a period total of 248. That was 25 minutes to each of the uh, involved players, each of those who were penalized. Four for the Bruins, four for the Islanders. Each of them got a game misconduct, which counts 10 minutes, a misconduct for 10 minutes, and five minutes for fighting. Gone for the game were O'Reilly, Milbury, Cashman, uh, uh, Milbury rather, Cashman, Jonathan, and Secord for the Bruins, Sutter, Lorimer, Lane, and Howitt for the Islanders. Total of all of that, 200 penalty minutes, 248 for the period. That's a National Hockey League Stanley Cup record for one period, and as a matter of fact, for an entire hockey game. The Bruins and the Islanders did it in one period. Then in the second period, that's when most of the scoring happened tonight. The Bruins came back to uh, tie the score on a goal by Rick Smith at 132. Tonelli's third of the playoff put the Islanders back in front at 1040, and the teams were trading goals. McCrimmon for Boston, first of the playoffs at 12 minutes to tie it at two apiece. Lorne Henning shorthanded at 1433. The Islanders back up by one, but before the end of the period, Brad Park got another one for the Bruins to tie it at three apiece. And the shots in the period, 9-4 Boston. Third period, just constant action. Both goaltenders active, but Billy Smith more so than Jerry Cheevers. Not beaten, though, until Bob Miller put the Bruins in front in these playoffs for the first time in two games at 10-51. And it took just 16 seconds, 15 seconds, for the Islanders to get it back and tie it again. It was Nystrom at 11:06, tying it at four apiece. And that's where it stands. The last eight minutes, 54 seconds of the period went by. Bruins out shooting the Islanders in that final 20 minutes of regulation, 
16 to 9, and they have a wide margin in shots on goal, 33 to 21. But this is an even hockey game, once again going overtime. Let's go back to Fred Cusick and Joe Gordon. Well, it is uh, four to four, and we're going into sudden death. Uh, Joe, let's uh, get the highlights. And how about Tom Larson? He's going to do this in the wrap-up. Okay, Bill Smith showing tremendous mobility. Here he is, way over to the right side of the crease, making a save. Now the dive left, like a football play, leading escapes to make another save. Tremendous mobility, all night long, getting a piece of everything. Jerry Cheevers. Cheevers. More position player than a great mobility player. He's always in the right spot. Here he is going down to make a pad save. Sweeps across to prevent a rebound. You have to keep buzzing around in front of Smith if you want to score on him. This is exactly what Bob Miller does. Shot comes in from the outside. Smith makes the stop. Allows a rebound, which he hasn't done too much of. Miller there, buzzing. Takes the shot, and this one even Smith gets a piece of. But it goes into the net. The biggest goal of the season, probably, for Bob Miller at that point. With just under a minute left in the period, it looked like Craig McTavish, the rookie from Lowell University, was going to wind up this game before it got to overtime. He made the move he wanted. He had Smith going the other way. Could not get the puck up. He shot it into his pad. He would have had to get it up at a very sharp angle, however, because Smith had his glove backing up his pad. A very difficult shot with the backhand, especially with the curved stick. That's the time when McTavish would love to have traded in his stick for a straight one. Okay, we're into uh, sudden death overtime again, as we were last night. Clark Gillies won it last night in game number one. Boston, 16 shots, the Islanders nine in the third period. Bruins out shot of nine to four in the second. Philadelphia leads New York 2-0 into the third period. Minnesota 2, Montreal 1 into the third period. Buffalo 5 and Chicago 3 into the third period. Here it is 4-4. Four four. Both teams under man. At the end of the first period, a wild brawl. Four Bruins given game misconducts. Four Islanders given game misconducts. And uh, so the teams under man. Sutter, Lane, Howard, and Lorimer thrown out the Islanders. The Boston Millbury, Cashman, Secord, and Jonathan. Miller, Foster, and Marcotte the line. Miller. A bouncer in wide of Billy Smith. Stephen Pearson. For Tonelli. Out to Trotje. Missed it. Dennis Potvin over to Pearson. Bruins for check. Break it up. Then regroups. Broken up by Miller. For Marcotte trying to move in. It's over to Foster. Foster can't get the shot away. In the corner, Marcotte battles to keep it in. But it bounces out and breaking. The Islanders, Tonelli in the middle. Out for Nystrom. Shot saved, Cheever. Tonelli the rebound. Out the front, blocked by Miller. Cleared it out. Knocked back in by Langbrand. And the face-off call. And the fans want a deliberate offside on that one. Fred, it looks like uh, Harrison has given his players instructions to shoot from anywhere along the ice. Cross the shot once in the corner before, and now Cheever's coming up with a save on Nystrom from way outside. Kind of a routine save, but he does a very important thing here. He steers the puck into the corner, something Cheever does better than any other goaltender I've ever seen. Handle those rebounds. Goring on the faceoff, won by McNabb. He can't convert it, though. Bounces to Park, rushes over the line. Trying to move in, block. O'Reilly trying to keep it in. Can't. Gillies out. Now to Bourne with Gorin. Shot saved. Cheever screaming shot by Bourne. He has great talent. Skating, shooting. Puck not clear. Bounces in wide of Cheever. O'Reilly fails to clear. Bourne shoots, scores! Bourne intercepted the pass by O'Reilly, drilled it from 45 feet, and for the second night in a row, quickly, the Islanders win in overtime, 5-4. to four. Bob Bourne, the hero there. And the Islanders sweep the two games at Boston Garden. And they are mobbing Bob Bourne. And uh, Joe, I was very impressed with his play all night. Bob Bourne, he's the kind of a guy, you mentioned earlier, great skating ability. 
spread and uh, the fourth goal of the series and the biggest one. Okay, and so let's look at it again. Kerry O'Reilly makes a pass he'll probably never forget as long as he lives. He flips it out into center ice under great pressure, trying to clear it. Born at the red line, at the blue line rather, stops it, moves in one stride. Fires a blast. Cheever's a little bit screened on this play. Off his stick and up into the corner. And that ends a remarkable game. And so the final score, the Islanders five and the Bruins four. Bruins hockey will continue in a moment.